Hi guys, welcome to the law student, Lawsomely Awesome Lawyers. Here is the detailed analysis of law optional paper of UPSC that is constitutional law and administrative law that is paper 1 and it is also for polity that is GS mains paper 2. This analysis is done by me. My name is Shreya Deshpande. I am a law graduate. Before starting, please make sure that you are making notes of the syllabus as you will not find this detailed syllabus anywhere else. So please make sure you are taking notes of the syllabus. Paper 1 that is constitutional and administrative law consists of various chapters. The first chapter is constitution and constitutionalism. I have mentioned various features uh, of this particular chapter over here. So while you study these particular chapters, you will be covering the doctrine of basic structure. So uh, you will not have to study these features uh, all over again if you just study it once you will cover the doctrine of basic structure Qu questions are also asked on the doctrine of basic structure you will not understand that the question is uh, pointing towards the doctrine of basic structure but the crux are yes uh, the doctrine of basic structure so make sure you are studying the doctrine of basic structure well fundamental rights that is pil legal aid legal services authority i have mentioned various fundamental rights over here while studying these fundamental rights make sure that you are studying the case laws well right to constitutional remedies is a right uh, given under article 32 so your focus should be more on the constitutional remedies because this article is uh, linked with the union and state judiciary so while studying this article you will be covering a part of uh, union judiciary and state judiciary as well so you will not have to study it differently Relationship between fundamental rights, directive principles of state policy and fundamental duties is the third chapter. While studying this chapter, please try to understand the relationship between these uh, three parts because uh, questions are also asked on this particular chapter and relationship as to any two is asked. So make sure that you study this chapter well so that you can answer the question well. Uh, fourth chapter is constitutional position of the president and relation with the council of ministers that is union executives while you study this particular chapter make sure your focus is on the powers of the president and the relationship of the president with the council of ministers because the question is also asked on this particular chapter relating to the constitutional position of the president the question in 2015 paper of uh, law optional is also asked uh, regarding this particular chapter then governor and his powers that is state executive articles 153 to 167 and article 213 state the provisions relating to the governor and his powers so make sure for uh, president as you studied make sure that you are also studying these uh, powers of governor and his relationship with the council of ministers because the question is also asked on governor's uh, position and his relationship with the council of ministers then the supreme court while you study the supreme court as i quoted earlier for article 3 uh, 3 2 that is 32 uh, the jurisdiction of the supreme court and independence of the supreme court is also to be focused red jurisdiction relates to article 32 so make sure that you study article 32 well that is the red jurisdiction and the writs under uh, supreme court and high courts as well High courts are also empowered to issue writs, so make sure that you study the types of writs as I have mentioned over here. These are the nature or types of writs you can see and here I have given the principles of writ jurisdiction. These are the various principles which are followed by the Supreme Court and High Courts before they grant any particular writ. So make sure that you study these writs well because questions are also asked on these particular writs and if the questions are not asked these particular writs or this particular power of the high courts and supreme court is usually in the news so make sure that you study these writs well central state and local bodies so here you can see the distribution of legislative powers between the union and the states so the legislative relations for the first that is article 245 to article 255 it is done in two uh, aspects that is with respect to territorial jurisdiction so the doctrine of territorial nexus is followed and with respect to subject matter of legislation so you can very much see here that i have mentioned various doctrines like doctrine of pith and substance doctrine of severability doctrine of waiver eclipse implied powers and of colorable legislation these doctrines play a very important role 
make sure that you understand these doctrines well because uh, these these doctrines play a relatively more important role in this particular chapter make sure you really study these doctrines well then administrative powers article 256 to article 263 distribution of executive powers then financial relations article 266 to article 273 while you study financial relations make sure that you are studying these concepts well you are able to understand these concepts like consolidation fund of india and of the states consolidated fund of the state public account of india and the state then contingency fund taxes levied and collected by the union and the state surcharge or certain duties and taxes for the purposes of the union taxes which are levied and collected by the union and may be distributed between the union and the state grants in lieu of export duty on jute and jute products so while you study for optional paper of law it is okay if you just study it twice and you don't focus much on this particular part but while you study for gs paper 2 your focus should be really on this financial relations because this financial relations certainly play an important role then uh, the next chapter is legislative powers uh, conduct of business disqualification of members privileges and immunities i have covered the part of parliament and state legislature your focus should be on the functions and powers of the parliament and the state legislature uh, the speaker deputy speaker of legislative assembly and powers and functions of the state legislature chairman deputy chairman of legislative council powers and functions of the state legislature then the procedure for ordinary bill money bill procedure in financial matters and uh, privileges of the legislature these this part also plays an important role so please make sure that you study this uh, procedures well then after this your focus should be on services under the union and the states article 308 to article 323 your focus should be on election commission as well because election commission is usually in the news so make sure that you uh, read news or watch news or you read articles relating to the election commission then the emergency provisions that is article 352 to article 360 make sure you study the case of indira gandhi's period that is article uh, 352 to 360 and the period that is 1975 to 1977 please make sure that you study these emergency provisions really well because a question might be asked on these uh, provisions then amendment article 368 amendment plays a very important role because uh, you can see i have mentioned a d clause over here that is 24th constitutional amendment 1971 the c clause as well the amendment of the fundamental rights and uh, the e clause as well that is the basic structure of the constitution these three parts play a very important role under this chapter because questions can be asked on basic structure of the constitution as if you study the first chapter that was relating to the doctrine of basic structure of the constitution you will understand that no amendment can be done to the basic structure of the constitution so make sure you guys study these parts well i hope this video was of great help to you thank you so much for watching this video please do like share and subscribe for more lawsomely awesome videos you can also visit our page that is www.facebook.com/lawsomelylawstr I am going to cover the syllabus of the administrative law that is the detail analysis of the administrative law in the next video so please do watch the next video for better understanding of the analysis thank you so much guys thank you